I've been involved with uh, many businesses in my life. Um, after college, I was going into the FBI, and then I had a chance to go back into the hotel business, which my parents had been involved in. So I lined up with uh, Holiday Inns because they were out of uh, Utah, and I wanted to stay in the state here. Went into the hotel business, um, <clears throat> been there all my life now. And uh, when Marriott sold his first franchise, uh, I raised my hand and said, I'd like to be a part of that. It's a great, I think, the best hotel chain in the world. Now the company I started has 17 Marriott's that they operate. I've sold that company last year, year and a half. We've had um, a great experience in, uh, in property development. Uh, along the way, I also had a, a program that we developed for young people in trouble, crisis, drugs and alcohol. My son, Jared, whom I have a great love and respect for, came to me and said, I think this is a great program for you. And I said, what is it? And they said, well, we're gonna hold a meeting in your home and you stand in the back and just see what happens. Well, I did and they discussed all uh, the values and virtues of healthy chocolate. I was convinced that this is uh, something that was placed on earth for us to consume and help us. And I think it's a product that, that the world is waiting for. I think Shasai right now has spent the last uh, eight or nine years, eight years to get to a point to where they know what works and doesn't work now. They've had a lot of experimentations. They've had some th products that have hit, this, hit the moon and others that flubbed. They're now on a rail, I think, that, uh, to success that will be really great and they're getting ready to venture into the Asian market, which if you look at network marketing, is probably the top market in the world. So at that point, I think we'll have people in, uh, in our company that, that will have a great success, much greater than I have, much greater than anybody else has, because we're going to enter a market and an area that is really uh, somewhat virgin right now with regards to our product. When we, we make a presentation to somebody in network marketing, the first thing they say is that I don't have the time to do network marketing. The next question is, are you sure? Well, if I had the time, I just don't have the money. And then when you get back past those two, the third one's the one that really matters. I don't know how to do it. I don't think I know anybody outside of Utah or outside of America. And that's the greatest fallacy of all because it's not you having no limits, it's who you bring in that knows somebody else. For instance, Wally Joyner is a, a dear friend of ours and, and uh, all of a sudden we're opening Asia. Wally would be a prime person to go into that market because they know him over there. He's a, he should be a Hall of Famer. If he's not, he will be in baseball. They love that. I don't, so you might have a friend that's a golfer. You might have a football NFL player that you know or somebody else. Or you just might know somebody down the street that speaks Japanese that knows somebody else that knows somebody else. All of the people that were really successful in this company, I didn't know. Somebody came to me. I sold them. They sold somebody else. They sold somebody else. Before long, I had some thoroughbreds in my stable that really made it happen for me, success-wise. It wasn't me, it was those that were working in a particular downline. Uh, we opened a Roos Chris uh, five years ago, bought the franchise. It cost us well over a million dollars to put that up on its feet. Um, I make more money in Shasai than we did with that million dollar investment, which is pretty incredible. I, I encourage my kids to be involved in, in network marketing, and most of them are. They love it. They have free time, they spend the time they want on it, they're their own boss, they have substantial write-offs tax-wise. There's just a lot of benefits that come to that person that steps up and says, I, I want to give this a try. In high school, you have to be in college, you have to be middle-aged, you have to be old like me. At what point can you be successful in this business? And I tell people you can be successful at any age you want to be, as long as you have focused on it. You can do it part-time, you can do it full-time. And you don't have to know a thousand people. You have to know four or five good people who know four or five good people who know four or five good people and all of a sudden your downline starts to spring like flowers in the springtime and all of a sudden it becomes wonderful and you've got a garden you thought you only had four or five seeds to and now you've got a garden full of flowers different personalities each of them wanting to find ways in which to distribute their product and bring others into the fold.